All right, today marks an exciting day for me. It has been about a year of looking for boats and about, I think it's, we're right at almost two months since I found this boat. You guys have seen a couple of videos, previous videos on this. I think this will be video five on, on this boat. And this boat series is gonna go a long ways. My wife and I have been looking for boats. We finally found this one. It's taken about, um, and really about a month after seeing the boat to actually getting it. And today we're headed down to the docks. We're going to pick up the boat. We need to bring it from Alameda, California to Richmond, California, where I've uh, got a slip there. We need to meet with the harbor master. They need to check over the boat, make sure it's not like a derelict boat or something like that that's going to sink in its slip. <laughs> Hope not. And then, uh, so we'll take it over there. That's about, I looked at it, it looks like about three hour, um, oh no. That's like Gilligan's Island, a three hour tour. <laughs> I hope not. It should be less than that. Um, and I'll take a look when we get down the docks and I'll let you know what it's, uh, maybe it'll be less. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty short trip. There's not projected to be any wind until we get right to the last part. So we're just gonna leave the sails down and just go ahead and motor on over there. Get the boat over there, get it checked in and I'll see you at the docks. Bye. All right, so it's been another week or so, and we finally have the boat. The boat is ours, so now we're going to take it over to Richmond. This will be our first little outing on the boat. I wanted to check and make sure. Nice. And uh, that's good. She's dirty right now, but uh, it'll be okay. We got some of the covers off, but it's no wind out today. We're just going to motor on over. What do you think, Steph? You about ready to do this thing? Yes. Is it real yet? It's, it's real. It's real. <laughs> it's finally real. And uh, we're running, so we're going to get going, and uh, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit as we steam along. All right, so we are underway and um, headed out of the Alameda area and trying to figure out what this guy in front of me is doing. So I'm going to go around him this way. All right, we've officially passed the no-wake zone. We can just move on out now. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> this is kind of surreal because it sort of feels like we've just kind of always been doing it all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Ready to go, about a two-hour trip, and we'll uh, be there. So, uh, got a, a one bridge to go under, an island to go around, and uh, just a ways to go. The fog has lifted, so we're happy about that. We can see San Francisco, we can find our way to Richmond. We were a little worried about the fog this morning because there's a big fog bank, but uh, with no radar, it would have been a little sketchy. Things about coming out of the Alameda Bay is that you get to thread the needle between some pretty big ships. All right, so this cargo ship you see out there is huge. It's being pushed by two tugboats, and it started way out on the left there, out on our port side, and he just kind of kept edging in a little bit because he's got a park over there where that other one's unloading, but um, park it, you know, dock it. But uh, we were clear enough. It just looks so massive here. that He's just, like, looking up at these massive structures and these big containers being unloaded. It was fascinating. To thread the needle. Absolutely fascinating going through these uh, two cargo ships. On one side you watch one coming in, on this other side you're watching them get unloaded and there would be a crane that comes out, that big one up there, and then you just watch it come down, grabs one of the containers, picks it up, and then zooms off. All right guys, hey there's a better view of the city. You can see that. And then we're gonna go under the Bay Bridge. Pass under the Bay Bridge. The new span. Oh, there's some guys bicycling up there, which is super cool. And there's some jogger up there. And it's kind of cool to see the levels on that. You oh, never yeah. really get to see that when you're driving on it. That's super cool. Which used to be really ugly, and this is from like since 2010. This was put up, and it's really pretty. And the lights are cool. It's awesome. It's pretty. It's pretty from the bottom too. Thing is the old one isn't here. <laughs> like they completely removed it, which is yeah. pretty amazing. San Francisco and Alcatraz. If you can see that off in the distance over there, Alcatraz, San Francisco. And we're still on our way. You can't see, yeah, you can't see the bridge. 
90% of the time it's going to be all beautiful out and you'll be able to see the bridge. Today you cannot. <laughs> the Golden Gate. Golden Gate, of course. Yeah, the other bridge. The bridge bridge. That's the, other, the bridge. That bridge or that bridge. No, it's the bridge. All right, so we're getting close. This is our getting to our turn to get into Richmond. And right behind me there is uh, Angel Island. A couple little shots of Angel Island in the background just to let you see it a bit better. And uh, then there's a Richmond Bridge that direction. And then we head back in that way. I think it's time for lunch, guys. We've uh, got the boat checked in with the Harbor Master and we are in our slip. New slip here at the uh, Richmond Marina, and uh, it all went well. A little windy coming in, but it's the middle of, well, it's like 11, 30, 12 o'clock, something like that now. So, uh, pretty nice, nice place to be. We're gonna go get some lunch. Cheers, so excited. Are you excited about it? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> More than I thought I'd be, actually. Sweet. So that's wrapping up this episode. And as excited as I am about this boat, there are a bunch of things I'm going to need to fix. Uh, I did have coffee and stuff on the way, but I always had to hold on to that throttle. You can see me there. I'm holding on to the throttle because it's loose. And it just basically, if you let go of it, then you go down to zero again. So the entire time I had to hold on to it. Some cool houses and things like that we saw on the way. We did see a couple of sailboats right there at the last minute as the wind started to pick up. But we got into the marina and uh, got ourselves set. And next up, I'm going to start working on getting this boat all cleaned up so that I can find all the little things that I need to fix, which are going to be a ton because we just found out the toilet doesn't work. Thank you very much.